So I think this is enough you need to know about the conventional normal generator. Now let's look at the third section within the generator chapter, which is about the inverted generators. So as the name already suggests, the basic functionality of an inverted generator is made out of two components, a conventional normal generator combined with an inverter. They just fuse together into one housing, and this is what we refer to as an inverted generator. So we're going to look at this information in three different sections. We'll look at what actually happens inside of the generator, and we'll look separately at the pros and the cons of inverted generators. So what happens inside of the inverted generator is that the electrical generator part of the generator produces alternating current. Then this alternating current is being crushed back into a, a simple DC power source, or a simple direct current. And then this direct current is then turned through the inverter back into alternating current again. So this seems a bit weird, right? You've got AC, you turn it back into DC, and then back into AC again. Why? Well, this is because the AC created in the first step is can be somewhat irregular. So if you take this irregular AC power from the first step and then mush it back into, like crush it back into direct current, which is pretty easy to, uh, to manage, and then you build it back up to an AC source, then your final AC wave is very stable and very controlled. And this is the reason why manufacturers and suppliers of inverted generators will claim that the output of their inverted generator is much more stable, is much cleaner and is much more controlled compared to the output of a conventional regular generator, which in most cases is absolutely true. So now that you know what happens inside of an inverted generator, let's look at the pros. What are the benefits of an inverted generator? All right, let him shut up for a second. I just want to explain to you that the content of this video is copied from the complete course of off-grid energy systems. If this information is enough for you, great. If you want to learn more and if you want to get access to the complete course, then check the information in the description below. All right, you go out again. So the first clear advantage is that inverted generators on average produce really high quality stable power output. And the second clear advantage of inverted generators is that since the third step, so the generation of AC power by the inverter, is decoupled from the first step, whereby the electrical generator creates the first AC power, you are now able to actually run the engine at a much lower engine speed, but at the same time still providing the correct frequency and power output that's being created by the inverter. And this is a great benefit because you're not able to do that with a conventional generator. A normal conventional generator needs to run at the same engine speed all of the time in order to maintain that frequency that we discussed before, right? So if in your situation you sometimes might require less power from the generator and as a result the generator will just reduce its engine speed while maintaining the proper frequency, now a result of this is that you have substantially less noise output from the generator. Now this is a great benefit of inverted generators, but just realize that if you're running your inverted generator at its maximum capacity, the engine speed is also maximum. So you might very well be producing the same amount of noise level with an inverted generator that's running at 100% compa capacity compared to a conventional normal generator. The real advantage of an inverted generator kicks in when you're starting to run it at lower capacity, whereby the engine speed reduces, your fuel efficiency remains somewhat the same, but your noise levels just drop drastically. Now these are the advantages of inverted generators, but of course if you want you can also point out the disadvantages. So the first one is quite obvious. Inverted generators are substantially more expensive compared to the traditional conventional generators. And you could also argue that uh, since there are more components inside of the inverted generator, right, because now it's not only a, a generator but there's also an inverter built into one unit, you could say that with more components you increase the chance of components to break down. Um, so you could argue that the reliability might be a bit lower or that it's more difficult to repair it once it does break down. And this then links to the, um, the KISS method, right? Keeping it stupid simple. So, but this is more of an opinion base. So I'll let you figure out what you think about this point. Now, I think this is enough we need to discuss regarding inverted generators. Let's look at the last topic in the generator chapter and we'll look at the different kind of fuel options that you might want to consider for your setup.